Tzedek is um, the Jewish response to poverty. So we work to try and readjust the imbalances of society. So we acknowledge that some people have things and other people don't. And what we want to try and do is readjust those imbalances so that everyone is living in a more just world. So people in the developing world apply to us for funding um, for sustainable projects. And we give them small grants that can be reused. So the money is always going to be reused. It's not just a one-off. So we send volunteers out to the developing world to work on those projects. Um, we also have a whole volunteer base in the UK to help us support us in the work that we're doing in the UK as well. We work to educate the Jewish community in the UK about issues relating to poverty and development um, to drive them to action. And I'm part of a community of uh, 35 uh, young adults, adults that have moved to Be'er Sheva, um, to an underprivileged neighborhood, to make a change in society through integrating into the local welf welfare education systems and uh, create uh, social action on a grassroots level, empowering the people of the neighborhood. Um, Israel has over a hundred of these communities, Orthodox, non-Orthodox, Jewish, non-Jewish, Ethiopian, former Soviet Union, very, very heterogeneous. Um, there are all groups of people that moved to social and geographical periphery to do this kind of social change. And we're creating a network of these communities in Israel to empower and strengthen their work. We have an ethical seal that's Hav Hayosher for kosher restaurants. Uh, we found that there are many kosher restaurants that pay below minimum wage or overtime. So that would be the creation of an uh, an unjust uh, orthodoxy. The, the orthodox movement has what to contribute, um, specifically its love for, for Torah, its fidelity to the Jewish tradition, its embrace of the notion of obligation, of saying that I do this work, I do service, because I'm obligated to do service of avodah. Uh, I'm thinking of the work as religious and godly in nature. Um, I think that's something orthodoxy could contribute. I think one of the things that orthodoxy could learn from different denominations and from some of the other Jewish organizations is to build a community based on social justice, on tzedek umishpat, on righteousness um, and law. What we do is to work directly with um, impoverished communities um, right now in two places, in Nepal and in Haiti. I think that our, our main population that we're interested in is, which is about 80% of the developing world, are rural villages who are really not um, making enough to support themselves and are therefore there's this uh, creation of a dynamic in which they're pulled into urban slums. And we're working both in the original villages and in the urban slums and in sort of different stopping points along the way. What we're trying to do is to make the villages more sustainable. This, all this can't be done without mobilizing the community itself. And, and that's where we find that participants slash volunteers from, who are young people from Israel, young adults from Israel or from the diaspora, can really be effective because they come into a community and they create excitement. They can help mobilize the community around new, new ideas. So, service learning. Works. It's, a, it's what you were just describing, doing service in the world and doing reflection. That exists in the academic world, um, you know, universities across the country. It's nothing new, right? But I went to a group of Jewish studies professors last year and I said, hey, what, what do you think about creating a course, which would be a Jewish service learning course embedded in Jewish studies, assuming that they knew what service learning was. And what it never occurred to me is they'd never heard of service learning before. So what we then did is we had to like step back and teach them the methodology of service learning and then say it's this, now embed that into Jewish studies. And in that way, it's using um, or working in partnership with the Jewish studies departments on an, in an academic environment to, to really move the ball down the field of saying it's not just about academic study, it's about what do you do with that study to actually address real community needs in a tangible way.